important topics and important questions to prepare so here i am with this video if you like this video please please do share because i want more and more people to be to get benefited with this video this kind of videos are really rare on the internet so please 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 subscribe like and also share so before starting the video i just want to tell you that these videos are made for educational purposes only the sole reason to make this video is to help students in exams to get some pass marks but the topics and questions appearing in this video may or may not come in your final exam paper because predicting the question paper accurately is next to impossible and but these topics if you are going through these are the topics which are really important it might if it might if it comes in the exam then there is a genuine chance of you getting pass marks so coming to our first segment which is syllabus uh, you have in the unit one there is signal signal analysis uh, so in this you will learn about uh, signals and units unit step signal exponential and sinusoidal signals mean square error what is mean square error and orthogonal signal space so etc etc and uh, from unit 2 you can learn about Fourier series and tran Fourier transforms so here if you are watching my videos of this uh, important question series then I always say that Fourier series and uh, if the unit is divided like this in two parts then one question from this and one question from this I mean one question from first part and one question from second part is compulsory in the exam so know this trick prepare accordingly so and you have unit 3 you have signal transmission through linear systems and you have Laplace transformers here in this Laplace in this unit 4 also this unit 4 is divided into two one is Laplace transforms and another one is Z transfer but before going that we'll just talk about unit 3 in here in unit 3 you have linear time variant system one you have linear time invariant so one is variant and one is invariant and you have again low pass high pass and BPF so I forgot this thing uh, please let me know in the comments what is BPF uh, I'm really sorry about that and uh, relationship between bandwidth and rise time and the graphical re re representation of convolution so this is how unit 3 goes and in unit 4 you have Laplace transform so one question from Laplace transform and one question from Z transform so Z transform you might get one question here also your concept of Z transform discrete sequence etc etc again in unit 5 you have unit 5 is divided into two one is sampling theorem and one is correlation in sampling theorem you might get one question or prob problem and here in correlation also you might get one theory there are a lo uh, lot of chances of you getting theory in this but uh, i would suggest please prepare problems because signals and systems is more biased on problems only uh, they will give a circuit or they will give a, a graph and ask you to find xyz things so please prepare accordingly so what are tips to pass three chapters perfectly so if you are just looking for a scoring then three chapters are more than sorry if you are just looking for passing marks then three chapters are perfectly done so if you just prepare these three then i mean like any three random three which you find it easy then definitely you will get passing marks and focus on short questions guys as i always say please 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 do focus and uh, let me know uh, focusing on short questions did it help you in the exam or not so units to prepare again one two three four five because every unit is lengthy here there is no small unit nothing like that every unit is lengthy and every unit depends upon your understanding and also problems are mandatory now coming to the important topics of unit one classifications of signals and systems analogy between vectors and signals and guys if you have come here just for previous question paper you can just go to our last segment and watch the previous question paper if you don't have time to watch all this just you can do that otherwise please stick to the video and also if you are not subscribed please please do subscribe and if you are liking the video then it would be great and also please share in your college groups uh, analogy between vectors and signals signal approximation using orthogonal functions and concept of impulse function and there is exponential and sinusoidal signals and signal signum function and uh, these are the important things so how will be questions framed so for example we are talking about you uh, for example if you are talking about uh, theory then it is simple classify the signals under different categories explain unit impulse and signal and ramp signal state and prove properties of impulse signal so like this the questions like this 
may appear in the exam for state and prove properties of impulse signal you need to prove by using all those equations here explain the properties of unit function so this is also a kind of a theory thing deriving the expression and uh, getting the unit uh, value at the end it's also just like a problem only so explain the functionality of complex signals and sinusoidal signals again guys i'm saying if there are there will be so many diagrams in this please 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 you do use pencil and also black pen whenever you write for example this is the basic thing basic uh, what do you call a problem i have given here draw the following signals r of t uh, this uh, questions like this may appear in the exam okay so this is how explain orthogonal signal space and orthogonal vector space now coming to important topics unit 2 you can see fourier series and uh, these are the things exponential and com complex fourier fourier transform so one is within in the fourier series and one is in the fourier transform just as we discussed in the syllabus introduction so introduction to hilbert transform so this question they may ask if the question paper is slightly hard they might ask a question from this or else basic questions will come from fourier series and these impulse function or fourier transformers involving impulse functions or arbitrary signal okay so again here also i have highlighted the theory questions what may come so you can just check guys if i am uh, if you feel that i am going fast please do pause the video take a screenshot and uh, keep it handy with you while preparation and also if you want uh, any other important questions thing please do download exam update app exam updt just go to play store and type exam updt in the search box you'll get an app it is free to use and anyone can use that app to prepare for your exam so how come a problem i have just given a problem here a basic example determine the fourier series of coefficient of a waveform so derive the fourier transformer of x of x of t equals to e minus a t sin omega t u t okay so one problem is this one problem is this so you can see you can just understand by looking at the question that how these form i mean like these problems will be how these problems will be i mean like given or how they are framed okay important topics for unit 3 again lti ltv i think one is important here uh, again i have asked you uh, the full form of bpf but uh, here ideal low pass filter high pass filter and band pass filter characteristics so now i just remember that band band pass filter explain the concept of convolution so there are ma ma major chances of theory coming from this topic so you can just check with that okay and uh, coming to the important questions so guys you can see that these are the important questions and also from unit 3 if there is given any problem then uh, i have just uh, highlighted this if they ask about properties of lti system then you can write uh, and also relationship between time and bandwidth so here also everything you have to derive and uh, there there is lot of things to deal with the equations the system produces the output here differentiate between linear and non-linear system time variant uh, casual and non-casual check whether the following system is linear so you have to check whether the uh, it is ca linear casual or time variant so if you solve this you will get one value so if by that value you are going to decide that whether the uh, i mean like uh, the equation whether the following system is linear casual or invariant so you have to do according like that only and also come to important topics for unit 4 so laplace transform one question is compulsory z transform one question is compulsory you can just check with that in between you have Lap laplace transform of certain signals using waveform synthesis relation between laplace transform of fourier transform of a signal and the concepts of z transform of a discrete sequence okay so you can just check with this and also important questions i'm not going to repeat this but uh, maybe you know, because when i was uh writing this subject i got uh, the, this kind of a question state and proof time shift to property of laplace transform and um, guys whatever i am giving in the i mean like in the last segment previous question paper you can just check uh, you might get one or two questions from that also if the question paper is easy uh, then frame it like that and uh, if the theory part is asked then explain and prove 
properties of laplace transform i know it is not complete theory but uh, you know you can expect that and uh, important topic from unit 5 would be sample aliasing and uh, signal from noise by filtering parseval's theorem or parseval's theorem uh, correct me if i am wrong in the comment section and uh, so these are the important topics from unit 5 so important questions would be this one expressions for cross correlation cross correlation i mean like cross correlation function what is the help with the help of graphical example explain sampling theorem with the band and uh, you can see two problems also here now coming to our last segment which is previous question paper thing and uh, part a what they'll ask in part a so give the statement of parseval's theorem or parseval's theorem and uh, impulse signal i'll read it for you i know uh, may, many of you are going to comment that this is not clear but please uh, this is the quality of question paper which we have received from students so i just put it in the video so you can understand uh, here find the Fourier transform so this is for basic understanding if you can just solve this before exam all the questions then definitely it will it will become helpful for you in the exam define impulse signal is there and uh, give the condition so basically these two are from unit one these two from unit two these two from unit three unit four and unit five you can check this is i and j are from unit five uh, list the differences between natural and uh, flat top sampling okay so this is part a now part b comes so these two questions are from unit one how they are going how they are asking show that one following set is mutually or orthogonal set so this is explain classification of system so one is theory one is problem again evaluate the following integrals using the property of delta functions one is again theory one is again with the necessary equation discuss the real and complex exponential signal so this will uh, will uh, assume that this has a pro, uh, theory but it is not theory i know with necessary equations they have given but it is not as complicated as problem so we'll consider it as theory because this subject is not that easy to pass but you can just say and also coming to the second unit so find the exponent exponential fourier series coefficients of the following illustrate the importance of hilbert transformer so one is theory one is so one is theory and one is problem so compute the fourier transform here if the statement of frequency evolution we have talked about sorry convolution we are talking about convolution theorem of the fourier transformer in our uh, important topics so here is the question so this is from the unit 2 again when coming to unit 3 uh, deduce the relations of pale wiener uh, criterion for physical physical realization uh, Find the impact response of an ideal low pass transformer with specific cutoff frequency. Again, one theory, one problem. 7a is again theory. You just need to write relationship between signal bandwidth and system bandwidth. Find the convolution of the following two signals. So, convolution theorem is important, guys. So, you can just check two questions have been asked from the same topic, right? So, you can just understand that. Again, Yaite, obviously, we know that it, uh, they are going to ask from either uh, Laplace transform or inverse Laplace. So, this is one, this is one. Again, discrete Z transform. So, we have talked, right? In fourth unit, there are two things. One is Laplace transform, one is Z transform. One question from this, one question from that. So, again, see here, one question from Laplace transform, one question inverse. From the second topic, they are asking from Z transform z transform of the following so if you know the process of getting obtaining a z transform using various methods then you can easily answer here for 10 marks or else if you know laplace transform again 10 marks are damn sure for you and uh, from unit 5 you have with the mathematical calculation waveforms prove the statements of the sampling theorem so just uh, you need to prove the statements of the sampling theorem by using equations and 10b would be find the energy spectral density of a following energy signals okay or in the fifth unit state and prove the relationship between power spectral density and auto correlation of the power signal and 11b would be illustrate the method methodology of signal extraction from noise filtering so these are the these are the breakthrough of your complete syllabus important topics and important questions and also your previous question paper from where and how the questions are going to be framed so if you physically if you mentally prepare for this kind of a paper this i mean like the uh, level of uh, 
this paper is uh, a medium not that easy not that hard it is uh, this is set in a medium medium way and if you get hard then the, there is less likely of chances that you will pass but if you know the topics if you know that uh, understanding if you have understanding of equations then no subject is easy or hard every subject remains on a same same platform okay so i wish you all the best yes this subject is little hard but i wish you all the best i hope you write it uh, very well and uh, if you are not subscribed to this uh, channel please do subscribe like share in your college group so that everyone will be uh, i mean like uh, watching this video and uh, they will get some knowledge regarding this subject and i have seen a lot of comments so guys please don't panic just write it uh, with a cool mind you will definitely pass okay guys and until then please 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 do keep sharing and i'll take care and you also take care and uh, all the best for your exam guys thank you